Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max, we have a 2008 GMC Arcadia SLT2, carbon black metallic with uh, ebony black leather on the interior. It has the um, factory 19 inch wheel upgrade. Tires are in good shape, they're not new, but they don't need to be replaced. They still have plenty of uh, life left to them. Has the uh, factory moonroof. We'll take a quick peek in here. It's a power moonroof with the, um, oops, the car's unlocked. Let's um, unlock it really quick here. Okay, uh, it's got the um, factory power moonroof with the uh, rear sky view. Let me get that open for you so you can see it. All right, oh, this is a power cover. I gotta do the power cover. I'll show you that in a minute when I get back here, when I get to the inside. But is, uh, you get the power moonroof up here, this one slides and opens and back there uh, that cover moves and you can uh, actually uh, look out of there too, it's like a panoramic moonroof, okay? Alright, uh, dual power seats, power recliner and uh, lumbar support, bucket seats in the front, bucket seats in the middle, and a uh, bench rear seat in the back for up to three passengers, so we got uh, two in the front. Two in the middle, that makes four, and three in the back, that makes a total of seven. And they all have an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that one that comes up the roof there. Okay, moving back to continue going on the other side. Okay, the car is all original, has a clean title, and a clean car effects. We give you right now for free at our website at vehiclemax.net. By the way, if you're watching this video in Auto Trader, let me tell you, it will cut off at three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute uh, video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Okay, back here we got the uh, parking sensors. These are the park assists, okay? Four of them. All right, um, car has no damage, no dents, no hail damage, no love bugs, no bird droppings anywhere in the paint. Car is in perfect shape. It is still in the manufacturer's warranty of five years or 100,000 miles on the powertrain. The, um, the bumper to bumper warranty has been exceeded by mileage as the car has approximately 65,000 miles. Okay? <clears throat> we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. If you have any questions, my name is George. I can be reached at 305 218 5462. We have been in the car business since 1992 and has sold over 30,000 cars. We have an A-plus rating. We're an accredited a business with a Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating, okay? Um, let's go ahead and uh, this car is also equipped with um, remote start. You lock the vehicle up, press this once, press it twice. The turn signals will flash and the car starts right up, okay? That way you can cool it down or warm it up depending what season of the year it is. Uh, then once you get inside the vehicle, all you got to do is unlock the vehicle. Take the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind, all you got to do is press here, and the vehicle turns off. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it really quick, show you the power tailgate. Okay. You can open the power tailgate from the remote, from the inside of the car when you're sitting in the driver's seat or in the front seat. And to close it, you can close it right here by pressing this button here, by pressing up here, or from the inside. Okay. That back row seat, and I'll show you in a few minutes, it folds down flat. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. Show you some of the interior options. Okay, well first let's go to the door panel. Door panel is all solid black with a chrome trimming here, or like a silver trimming I should say. Has the Bose stereo sound system. Okay, has um, memory seats for up to two drivers with the easy in and out. Okay, the easy in and out means when you put the car in park, you pull the key to the ignition, the, the driver's seat slides back just a little more to give you more, a little more extra room to get out. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, uh, power mirrors. This particular one has power folding mirrors, okay? And uh, the power folding mirrors are also, uh, as you can see there, they're heated, okay? All right, uh, roof rack. And uh, let me go ahead and get inside, get it started. Show you some of the other options in here. Do the moon up in just a second. The vehicle is also equipped with uh, heated seats. Of course, you saw me already. That it you saw me show you that it has power tailgate. Okay, let's lower the fan a little bit because, like that, you're not going to be able to hear me talk. Okay, it has dual climate control. As you can see, we can make the uh, say the passenger side 70 degrees, while the driver's side stays at 61. That way, 
uh, everybody's happy. If you like it warmer or cooler, you can control your own temperature. And also, you can also control the rear road uh, temperature for the rear passengers. Okay, so we have actually triple climate control. Uh, we get curtain side airbags here on the front post, on the middle post, and should be one more back here. Matter of fact, this one might have actually four side airbags per side. Okay, current side airbag over here. And there's one last one over here. I'll show you really quick here, so I don't forget later. That's another way to open it by just pressing the switch. It's got a switch right in here, okay? Here's the other curtain side airbag. So we got a total of four per side, one on each post. One on the front post up there, one on that middle post, one on this post, and one on this post. So a uh, very safe car indeed, okay? To close the tailgate, um, press over here, as I showed you before. I'll lay down those seats flat in just a minute, show you what that, um, how that looks. Okay, let's operate the moonroof now. Okay, uh, where's my switch? Here we go. All right. It is a uh, glass moon, uh, moon roof, it is tinted, and it has also a cover here that you slide manually, okay, and that's the block out of the sun, okay, uh, and you can also, wait, there we go, push it in that way, all right, there's, there's, uh, this shade back here is power, okay, and that's what I meant before about having, uh, like, it's like a double moon roof, let me get out of the car and give you a look from a different angle so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, see what I mean? You get your moonroof up there and then you get your Skyview moonroof for the middle and rear row pa uh, passengers right there. That one does not open, but you can see out of it and let's, uh, let's the sun shine through and the same thing. If you want to block out the sun, you get that shade that uh, closes by power. What I was telling you before is that the rear row passengers can control their own temperature back here as well. So, you know, everybody's happy. You can control the side temperature in the front and then the back can control your own temperature. Okay. Let's move on. Show you some other other, other options up here. Okay. All right. Uh, the car is running right now. It has 65,782 miles, uh, and it's still in the manufacturer powertrain warranty of five years or 100,000 miles. On the upper uh, upper right hand corner there, you can see there's a temperature readout shows that 82 degrees outside. Okay. And on the rear view mirror, you get your. Uh, compass there letting you know that we're pointing or at least heading into uh, east okay uh, on star system and I'll tell you what it does in just a little bit this is your home link this is to program your garage door or your gate all right um, let's move over here the car's running keep an eye on the left hand dial there okay I'm just revving the engine 3.6 uh, v6 uh, liter engine the reason I'm doing that is just simply to show you the car is running and there's no check engine light on no airbag lights no anti-lock brakes no type uh, tire pressure monitoring system nothing like that everything is working to perfection okay uh, all right let's go ahead and get the stereo going remember that is a Bose stereo sound system we can raise the volume right here and you can mute it here and of course unmute it okay um, right here these are for seeking your preset stations and this is to just to seek from station to station until you find one you like okay um, I believe this is equipped with XM stereo and there you go and right now it's on the preview mode because we have to you have to sign up for the subscription with them okay so XM stereo um, we also get an auxiliary input here for your iPod so you can listen to your uh, uh, iPod music right on your Bose stereo sound system. Okay, down here we got, um, yeah, let me do it on this passenger side so you can see it better. The top one here, this is for the backrest only, okay? Three different levels of comfort right there. Alright, that's uh, high, medium, low, and off. And this is for the entire seat, and the same thing, high, medium, low and off and of course we got both sides not just the passenger let me slide the shifter back okay this is to deactivate the traction control this is for your rear window washer this is to operate the power tailgate as we did before but like I can show you you can do it from here okay we've got an automatic transmission all right but it also has a manual shifting mode right here you can tap here plus or minus to control 
um, uh, to make a shift in the way you like to. But that's not here. That's in drive right now. You have to move to over here. Okay. And there you can shift. And I'll show you what that looks like over here. I'm going to put the lever back on D, which is where you're normally most of the time going to drive it. Okay. Keep an eye on those four letters there. I'm going to move the lever down now. Okay. And now I'm going to tap on the plus switch. And you see how that makes it change? From going to first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, and this has a six-speed automatic transmission, okay? And you downshift the same way by tapping on the minus sign. But if that doesn't interest you, all you've got to do is just push this shit lever up one notch to drive, and that's how you're going to normally drive, and it'll still shift uh, to your six-speed, uh, all six speeds that are available. All right, uh, yeah, the main use of that is to either pull a little sport into it, or let's say you're going down a hill or something, and you don't want to keep stepping on the brakes and heating them up, you can... You can make it downshift and control the speed there. All right, uh, this is a power outlet for your cigarette lighter or a uh, cigarette lighter adapter. Cup holders. Got a little tray here for like pens, and a quarters, nickels, dimes, more stuff you could put there. Okay, this console is pretty neat in the sense that it slides up or down. Okay, depending on how how you like to uh, put your arm over here. You got a little more storage over there. All right, um, open the top here. Pockets always stick. There we go. Okay, hey, they don't get used much over here. It's like another pocket here. It's, yeah, it's not that deep. You could probably put. Get you an idea there. You could probably put something in, or maybe like a little purse or something, or uh, whatever. I don't know anything you can put in there. Okay, let's close this up here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the OnStar system while I pan around the dashboard so you can see that there is no cracks or burn holes. By the way, there's no burn holes anywhere it's on, on the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. There's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was definitely a non-smoker. Okay, if you get into a car accident and any of those airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it sends a signal to the OnStar center to let them know that you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car, if you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Another reason you can use it for, if you're, uh, let's say you're running out of uh, gas and need to find your nearest gas station, a hotel, a restaurant, whatever, if you just plain all lost, you press that blue OnStar button and they'll give you turn by turn directions to get you back going on your way. Another thing is if, um, let's say you happen to uh, lock the keys inside of the car, all right, there's, um, uh, number that they provide you with you call a number identify yourself give them your credentials You know so they can make sure that you're you and then they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it unlocked Okay, which will save you a bunch of time and having to wait for a locksmith and it'll save you a bunch of money and having to pay a locksmith All right, um What else can I show you here? I think we're pretty much done up here with the front um, Let's go ahead and put down the windows One touch Meaning you don't have to hold the switch on that's what I meant See oops, that's the rear window so front windows are the ones that are one touch. Okay, rear windows you do have to hold the switch, and you can see they are tinted, as are the side um, uh, side windows in the back. Okay. All right, switches around here. All right, uh, cruise controls over here. These are remote audio controls I was showing you before. Uh, leather wrapped steering wheel, and I'll pan around it nice and slow. Just trimming these these are panels here in perfect shape too. It's like a imitation metal or something. It might even be metal. I don't know. Uh, pan around the leather steering wheel so you can see that there are no tears or cuts or burn holes on the uh, on the uh, leather wrap steering wheel. No stitching coming apart. And it's got a little teeny baby nick there. Not even that. You could probably actually just put a little armor on and clean that up. Um, and in perfect shape, really, for a car with 65,000 miles, you could not ask for more. Whoever had this vehicle really took good care of it. Okay, automatic headlights, and they also you got fog lights on there as well. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and turn it off and move on to the rear uh, middle row and the, and also the rear row. Remember that I told you that we've got the uh, Bose stereo sound system on this unit. All the door panels are in great shape. They have no no burn holes or tears or cuts or anything like that. Okay, all the speaker covers are nice and clean. They're not cracked or anything. Okay, I'll pan over the driver's seat if I haven't done so yet. Got a little bit of uh, a little bit of stress marks from coming in here, but that's normal. It's not even cracked or anything. It's just from the regular in and out. Okay, but for a car with, like I said, 65,000 miles, it's in phenomenal shape. 
If I, if you, if you didn't know this car has 60,000 miles, if you had to guess, compare it to one with 20,000 miles, and it would look the same condition. Rear door panel. Okay, this vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How that works is you get your key or a screwdriver or anything that fits in this little slot here. Twist it to the left. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door. That way you want to control their in and out. Then you would do it from uh, only this outside door handle. Okay. But as you can see, it's very easy to engage and disengage. So, Okay, uh, bucket seats here in the rear. I showed you that we have the rear uh, AC controls there. And here are the uh, AC vents here. For the middle rows, okay, there's another one over there. And then back here for the rear row passenger, we got AC vents as well. And there's reading lights and stuff up there too. Okay, in the back you have a bench seat that can seat up to three. And all with an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that one that comes off the roof there. Okay, um, I already told you about four side airbags per side, making a total of eight, plus the front is a total of ten. All right, uh, we get anchors here on the seats. That's to put it, I think, as you got a baby seat, uh, baby seat. There's uh, tabs in there that you can attach your um, your um, your baby seat. Okay, the, the rear entry. Uh, not quite sure. I think it's this way. Let's see. There we go. Well, this flips it up. No, it's the rear entry. It's over here. Okay. So this, there we go, and this gets out of the way, slides forward, pretty easy, I can do it with one hand, okay, and you just slide it back, push this in here, and voila, okay, alright, both sides are the same, okay, let's go ahead and close this up here, factory uh, door vent sticker there, pop the hood, as we come around, as we're running out of time, actually, I'm kind of taking a little bit too long here, all the tail lights and all the headlights are in perfect shape, no cracks, no scuffs, no, they're not foggy, they're nice and clean. All the chrome emblems and, uh, and the chrome pieces are in perfect shape, no damage whatsoever, nice and clean, no cracks, no corrosion, nothing like that. Okay, let's pop the tailgate. Uh, rear wiper with rear window defroster back here. I like guess I was saying to you before, these uh, flip down. You, all you got to do is pull here, the headrest pops down, uh, push it forward, and lays down completely flat. Okay, you can do one side or you can do both sides. And to bring it up, simply pull on the strap here, bring it here, lift the headrest up. There's a little Velcro down here to keep it in place. Storage here, and as I said, both these flip down. We get another power outlet here for a cigarette lighter adapter. Okay, let's go ahead and close that power tailgate. Give you a look at it on the other side. Tail light, perfect shape. Okay, move on here. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing through this because I don't want to get to 20 minutes, all right? And besides, all right, perfect shape back here. All right, let's move on here, open the glove box. Okay, little stereo sound system, dual power seats, power recliner, and lumbar support. And oops, sorry, pan over the seat here real quick. All right, come over here. All the owner's manuals and everything that you need is in there. It's just a little bit messy, but it's all in there, all your, all your manual and everything. Yeah. And it's got an even casing here, but whoever had it didn't even Took it out of there and then never put it back. All right, anyway, uh, remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. If you have any questions, my name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Again, the website's vehiclemax.net. 3.6 V6, var variable valve timing. That's what that stands for, okay? Your hood sticker again no accidents clean title clean carfax which you can view right now for free on our website vehiclemax.net and i want to thank you for watching our video